Hello and welcome to the Spreadco PM commentary with me, David Morrison. First up, I'd like to consider what's been going on with the dollar ever since Janet Yellen spoke uh, at Jackson Hole on Friday. The dollar's been rallying quite strongly since then. Uh, some of the key takeaways from, Ms., uh, from Dr. Yellen's speech was the fact that uh, the case for raising rates had strengthened over the last few months. Uh, she also said that the US econo e economy was improving and that the uh, targets for employment and inflation were close to being reached or, or getting closer. And it's worth considering those two things because they uh, comprise the Fed's dual mandate of maximising employment and uh, ensuring price stability, in other words, inflation. Looking at the employment uh, picture, first of all, um, the unemployment rate has been at 5% or below since November last year. And that's consistent with uh, the rate that economists would consider to be effective full employment in the US. Uh, looking at inflation, by some measures we've already hit the 2% annualised inflation target that the Fed has, along with the ECB, the Bank of Japan, the Bank of England. But the Fed's preferred measure is something called core PCE, and that came out on Monday. And that's actually hovering around the 1.6 level, uh, and it has been for quite a while. Now, core PCE uh, excludes volatile items such as food and energy. The headline PCE number, which includes food and energy, is running at about plus 0.8% per annum. So it's really quite anemic in terms of inflation growth. So, that might be an argument for the Fed not rushing to tighten rates and, and, and certainly not moving uh, bef uh, at September before the US election in November. Another thing to consider is think back to the minutes of the July meeting because remember that the FOMC, there's a lot of Federal Reserve presidents in the FOMC but only 10 of them are actually voting members and if we strip out comments from the non-voters and the voters we find that amongst the voters there's only one, Esther George, who favours a rate hike and in comments since those Fed uh, minutes and since Jackson Hole um, the voting members of the FOMC have sort of been quite bullish on the economic outlook, but they've been very cautious, I think, uh, in talking about rate hikes. They've, uh, uh, the only person who's actually come out and said that, that one or two rate hikes might be uh, likely this year is Stanley Fisher, and he uh, was very careful to say but this is heavily dependent on the up-and-coming data. Now, considering the dollar, uh, we've seen the dollar index... Uh, trading at about 94, that's the sort of lower end of its 18-month range uh, ahead of Janet Yellen's speech, on the morning of Janet Yellen's speech. At the same time, the euro dollar was up at about 113.50, which is towards the 114 upper band of, of its 18-month range, and the uh, dollar yen was down, flirting with 100. Now, since then, uh, we've seen the euro dollar come off about 1.7%. We have seen the uh, dollar index rise about 2% and the dollar yen up about 3%. Now, I mean, I don't think that what's this saying is that the market truly believes that the Septem September rate hike is on the cards. I think this is more of a sort of a rebalancing. It's taking the dollar back more to the middle of its range and then we'll go from there. And remember, on Friday, we've got these all-important non-farm payroll numbers coming out. Thanks.